Hi everyone, I'm Dar from Belladur Power Planner and I'm here to start with you the Plan With Me series. So for our first episode, we're starting off with how to maximize your BDJ planners. First tip is to plan to plan. So essentially, at the start of the week or if you want, on every Sunday, you plan out your week. Like you list down all the things that you have to do for the week. Or if it's the start of the month, you can actually randomly list all the things that you want to do for the month and then slowly assign it throughout the weeks. Or if it's a weekly planning, you slowly assign it on a per day basis. On a weekly basis, you can create your to-do list, random to-do list in any of these slots. And then you can slowly assign it on a per time or per per day. Tip number two is actually using bullets or doing rapid journaling. Rapid journaling is essentially using two to four words in one line. So essentially it's just a very short reminder of what the task or event is. And you can use symbols to identify different things. Like if it's a task, it can be a period. If it's star, it can be a work event. If it's a heart, it can be a social activity. A uh, question mark can be something, an idea that popped in your head that you want to be able to research on later on. For tip number three, it's compartmentalize and prioritize. So essentially, the, what you have here in the BDJ planner is you have like different boxes wherein you can customize like what this bucket of our box will be all about. So it can be clients to meet, sponsors, advocacy, so it can be anything that you want. And then from this, uh, from this layout, you can choose which one you want to prioritize and put them on top. So this is one way you can use the weekly page of the BDJ Planner. For tip number four, it's time blocking. So what do you mean by time blocking? Just like your closet, we can buy all the clothes that we want. We have to look at time as a finite object. So it's like very, you have only 24 hours in a day and you ideally you want to sleep and ideally there's like well, not ideally, but you spend a lot of time in traffic. And so you have to be able to be realistic with the amount of time you have to spend for certain tasks. So you block off certain tasks. Even if you're doing reports for your for office, you block it off like maybe one hour I'm going to do this report. So that's the concept of time blocking. When you do time blocking, you become more realistic about how you're planning out your week or planning out your day. For the last tip, this is the time for you to allot for yourself. So essentially, it's me time. So it's also you trying to remember what are the things you're grateful for this week. So it can be very specific to something as simple as, oh, my, my teammate gave me coffee this week to make me feel better or something like that. So it can be very specific. And this time wherein you reflect upon what happened during the week, it's very helpful for any time management or even planning how to live, live more deliberately because this is one of the ways you sort of figure out what makes you happy and what makes you feel productive, what makes you feel successful. And of course, with any of the things that we do with BDJ and all the products that we make, we just want everyone to live life to the fullest. So hopefully this tip is something you guys can implement. So there you have it, our five tips to maximize your BDJ planner. Let us know if you have any questions or you have any additional tips that you want to share with us. So maybe we can feature it for our next video. And we hope to be able to share more planning tips with our Plan With Me series. Till next time!